Hello guys, <clears throat> so in this video we'll be going through a, a very very popular strategy and the way you can go <clears throat> uh, about trading it, okay, I'm talking about the initial balance uh, <clears throat> and a few things to say, right, so basically usually people want to set their initial, you know, balance at some sort of you know market open but uh, the real thing is you can it doesn't have to be initial balance it could just be whatever balance all right so whatever period of time you set right so range start range end right so for example i'm setting my balance from 5 a.m to 9 15 in this particular example it's just the uh, it's just the, the balance i found to be most effective okay the the, the range i found to be most effective Okay, so basically <clears throat> what this strategy allows you to do, right, is you can set the range start and range end, okay, and that's where the strategy will be just observing and looking for the balance, uh, uh, well, for, for the range to be set, okay, and after that, okay, after that it will basically, um, it will, uh, if you could see the, the this blue here and it starts being purple okay and after that it starts setting orders okay and i'm just going to take off all the filters for now and um, run it without the filters i don't know if this spot yet is this this spot is gonna yeah okay okay here we go <clears throat> So once the the balance is set, right, we are interested in this level and this level, and that's where we're gonna set our stop buy orders, stop sell and stop buy orders. So we're gonna we're gonna put in a bracket, all right. So whichever one fires, that's the one we're gonna go for the day, okay. And the trick is, I mean, you can modify the strategy and you know go in and out many many times, right? But in my personal opinion uh the best is to give it one go and the other rule which works pretty well is actually just let it run until the your trade end hours okay or whatever hours set it okay so don't even worry you i'll show you it has a profit target and stop loss right but it doesn't really affect it much okay the best results are actually achieved by just letting it rest okay so as you can see, the strategy does not enter on the breakout of this period. It actually enters, uh, we use a little entry offset multiplier, which is actually an ATR multiplier, okay? So you can see it entered right here. That's because, uh, <clears throat> that's because the ATR offset is right here, okay? So when this bar closes right here and we see the, our, the, the initial balance formed, we calculate the ATR and we set the order, okay, to this level plus the ATR. So I can actually lower it to, I don't know, let's say 0 0.5. Oh, is this thing going to take, yes, this thing's going to take me too. Okay, you can see it now entered right here, which is a bit lower, okay, <clears throat> because of the ATR. So if I actually put this to zero, this thing is just going to be entering on the on the level of the of the initial balance okay but i don't want that i want to give it a little bit more uh, space so i'll just leave it at one okay so <clears throat> what what else do you have control of okay and to be honest uh, it doesn't really affect it much i just inputted that so people can extend it and play around with the framework okay so the first thing is actually the filter all right so when i place the orders here I want to see, you know, if, um, if it, you know, for example, this filter is where, you know, if the bar closes above the HMA, we're allowed to place the order, okay? So, well, in this case, I think this won't really affect it, okay? So, yeah, we're above the HMA, so we're allowed to take long, okay? But you can input, you know, this is pretty easy to code, like a bunch of filters here and play around with them. And, uh, well, it, this particular filter does not really affect it much. So in this case, so, you know, if I run it without the filter, so 
surprise it's taking a bit too long. It doesn't really affect it much. Okay, if I put it to like 15 HMA, then maybe it will do something, but not too much. Okay. Well, it's actually a bit more uh, net profit. So that's one thing. Another thing is a parameter called take down orders. So what this means is because we placed the order, you know, at the point when this bar closes, when the initial range stopped forming, at that point, <clears throat> the order is placed. But, you know, if at some point we actually go and close below the HMA, for example, here, which is our filter, it can be anything, you know, it's just for an example, then the order will be taken down. And if it goes up again, you know, above the HMA, it'll be put up again. So, you know, if we take down orders and run this, that's also a um, an option, okay, for this particular setup. But you can see it affected it drastically, okay? Uh, you have to be careful with that. So another parameter that it has is, well, you can use a stop loss. And the stop loss is basically is the other side of the bracket so where is it so it will set the stop loss here to the other side of the bracket and uh, you can see how stop loss just you know doesn't affect it very well and there's also profit target which in the profit target multiplier that you can use if you want to which three is basically if you put it to one it's going to be the same size of the stop loss three is going to be three times the stop loss and uh <clears throat> well you can see how turn off the stop uh, and uh, maybe keep profit only okay well it doesn't look too bad so basically uh you have the range start the range end okay and you also have the trade start and trade end. You can do overnights. So you could set, you know, from close of session, I don't know what, yesterday, I don't know, like 6, 6, 6, is it 6.30? And, you know, measure the, the balance overnight and then trade during the, the day or whatever setup you like. Okay, but uh, overall, it looks like, um, like, a, like a pretty interesting idea, okay? of how this works and how it could be extended. I'll be providing a source code review where I'll be going through the code and uh, giving you an idea of how to expand the filter section, okay? And also some other ideas on how to try and make this strategy even more, um, even, even more interesting, okay? Uh, but overall, it seems like a pretty interesting concept, as you can see. It runs pretty well uh, out the box. So these are two-year, five-minute NQ, and pretty similar results are achieved on the ES. I have not tried any other symbols yet, but um, it looks promising. All right, hope you like it. Take care.